Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Fletcher, Balloon Twister, and I'm at Comic Con. Right now I'm in the artist alley, and I'm going to show you how to make a balloon ba -bomb. This thing's really cool. It only uses three balloons, and one of those balloons is a scrap. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need a 5-inch round, a yellow 160, and a white 160 scrap. We're going to start with the shoes, so get your yellow 160 out and inflate it halfway. Let's hammer out and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. We're going to make one large flower petal. The size is up to you, but I like mine to be about three inches tall. We're going to make two small bubbles that are about the same size, and then we're going to pinch twist those together and work it through the seam. So there we have one shoe with two pinch twists. Now we're going to twist a section about two inches long, and we're going to do another shoe. So another flower petal the same size, two more bubbles, we're going to twist those together, and we're going to work that through the seam. Just like that. So you should have something that looks like this so far. Now we don't need the rest of this, and I'm going to break it off at the end, but we do want to leave a little bit of slack. So you can see I've left myself uninflated, maybe about three inches of slack, and that's plenty. I'm going to pull it tight over to the other side, wrap it around the shoe, pull it tight and wrap it back over to the first shoe, and then tuck it away so you don't see it. All I want is a little bit of space that I can get my finger into, because we're going to slip a bubble from the bottom of the five inch round into there. Which means it's time to inflate our five inch round. You want to inflate it all the way and then let it some air out. Once you have it inflated all the way, let some air out where it's about half size and we're going to want to tie it high up on the nozzle. We want there to be an uninflated section right there at the end because we're going to use that to do a tulip twist later. But before we do that, we're going to squeeze the air to the bottom here, and we're going to twist the bubble right off, twist around a couple of times and put it between your fingers so you don't let go of it. Now we get our shoes, and we're going to put that bubble right in between that little tiny hole right there. This can be a little tricky and take some practice, but don't worry, you can do it. Once you have it attached, we just straighten up the shoes so that the little bob bomb is sitting on his feet. How cute is that? Now it's time to add the fuse. For the fuse, you just need a scrap of white 160. We're going to push the air towards the top, but be careful. This will pop on you if you're not. And we're going to take one end and we're going to put it right at the knot. And we're going to push it down, grab the knot from the inside. This is where it gets tricky. Once you have the knot, pull your finger out without letting go of the fuse. Let's try that again. We're going to take the fuse, put it right there on the knot, put our finger in, grab the knot from the outside, pull our finger out, and then twist the bubble right on top of the fuse. We're then just going to push that fuse up just a little bit, and there we go. We have the fuse coming out of our bomb. Only thing left are the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going to be using a white paint marker. Make sure you shake it plenty. The eyes are really simple. We just draw two round white circles. And we're done with our bomb. I decided to cut the scrap of the 160 a little short so the fuse would stick up a little bit more and look like a bomb. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed it, click that thumbs up button. And if you want more balloon twisting videos, I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new video. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, you can make anything out of balloons, even a bomb.